Hello there, YouTube. I'm going to make a quick video. Just got done sanding this. I found a few little problems. A few little minor cracks here and there. Places where they join the pipe. Where you can see the seam. I might rebraze that. Nothing serious. A lot of this was torch welded. Maybe in some kind of machine. I can't remember. I've seen a video one time on the old how they made the old bikes. But they'd add the, uh, this here and braze it later. You know, once this part was made. The camera on there. Then they'd braze that on there. And that would go down there. It's pretty good shape. I weighed it down with my hammer. Things like in here, what I scouted out, that'll have brazing. Then that'll be ground flush. Otherwise, it's not going to slide right. Your nut on the inside of your wheel, where that's been wallowed out over the years. So that'll be all repaired. These are bent. Don't straighten these with a hammer. Heat them up. I know not just straighten them with a hammer. It is off a little bit. Swin was a very good bike. Can't say anything bad about it. That's the factory. You got factory green. It's kind of hard to see. But if you look up there, your top pipe work curves looks like it leans to the left a little bit. And that could be me. I don't think so. It's not nothing to worry about. I mean, bicycles were mass produced. If I put that in there, I would make sure it was as good as I can make it. There's that factory. I'd found it. In, it was like Sea Breeze, whatever, Krylon, Agua. Not quite your turquoise, maybe a green turquoise. Kickstand's broken side. You got a piece goes up in here. You take the pin out. There's a piece goes in here for your notches. So I don't know if I have one or not, but all the guts come out after you take the pin out. What I did was, I don't know if anybody can see that, I cut that. Kind of like a triangle, bent that open, so I didn't have to mess with drilling the pin, and then I'll just rebraze and repair it. I don't know if I have one or not, but it turned out pretty good. This emblem in here, I took pictures of it. I'm positive. It's camera on here. Sorry about that. I'm positive this says Chicago, but that's an O. I looked in there and I thought I'd seen the C. I'm positive I'd seen before I messed with it. I'd clean it off so I could see the G and the O. I'm saying this was made in Chicago. I have no idea where these ones were made besides Chicago. I know I just hear that. One Chicago or more prize. Yeah, it's a twin. I don't know if anybody else could see that. But I think this leans a little bit one way. No major biggie. But they brazed them in the old days. Some of this was torch welded and then that was brazed. This was torch welded and then ground. These marks were in there. I didn't put these marks. Maybe I can see that back up. So they did grind and smooth these. They were very good at what they did. To put these two pieces in there, and this is all metal. They did a good job back then. No complaints there. We we're braiding down to what a chain guard bracket was. Might have a custom chain guard on it. Down here, like a crack where they'd form the pipes and stuff. I may look at that a little better. Overall, pretty good shape. So, that's enough of that. Thanks for watching.